important component, of course, after deal activities at Takeda is asset sales, as much as $10 billion, both to deleverage and to potentially eliminate non-core uh, assets. Tell us about your plan for those sales and how quickly you think you can actually get them done. Yeah, thank you. I mean, 75% of our uh, business is uh, very strategic, very core. So 25% of our revenue is non-core. We will select some assets in this 25% to, to sell. Uh, it's a way to be more strategic, more focused. It's also a way to help us to deliverage more rapidly. Uh, you know, when you speak about focus, when Shire was potentially for sale, those who looked at the business and chose not to perhaps buy it talked about, well, it was a little of this, it was a little of that. There didn't seem to be as much focus. What do you want investors focusing on at Takeda as your core franchises that you should be judged on in terms of your growth? So we, we have five uh, key businesses. Uh, by therapy area, GI, gastroenterology, oncology, neuroscience, rare disease, and plasma-derived therapies. That's really our core businesses. In R&D, we are also very much focused on these uh, areas. So I, I think actually the company is extremely focused, and for us, Shire was a good fit because it's a company which was very much focused on rare disease. Right, rare disease was their key. And yeah. is f five, you feel, is, is I mean, that's, an, that's a lot of focuses, even for a company as large as yours. When we think about some of the other large pharma companies, typically it's oncology or it's cardio. It's not necessarily five. Well, uh, you know, we, we, uh, we are extremely uh, uh, um, uh, demanding on the type of medicine we are developing. So we are looking for only highly innovative medicine. We are organized by therapy area, by design. So we have a very lean uh, organization supporting our therapy areas. The way to visualize it is that we are like uh, uh, four biotechs. Uh, GI on closing neuroscience, but for biotechs with a big pharmaceutical company, which is financial power to uh, finance these biotechs. How should people view the company from the perspective of typically, is it a Japanese company or a global company? We are a Japanese global company. <laughs> Uh, you know, we are headquartered in Japan, uh, our primary listing is in Tokyo, but 48% uh, of our revenue is in the U.S., 30% of our employees are based in the U.S., we are present in 80 countries, so we are a truly global company. In the executive teams, in my executive teams, there are 11 nationalities. How do you think about the pricing environment going into this year? Is it going to sound any different than 2018? I think there is pricing pressure everywhere, and not only in the United States, but in every country, every healthcare system is struggling with the financing of its healthcare system. So we know that we need to, uh, to manage this uh, pricing environment. Our way, our strategy for doing that is to only uh, develop highly innovative medicine and also to be innovative in the way we uh, price our medicine. Is, is the pressure, though, from competitors or policy? Out of governments, combination of the two, uh, the, you know, government policies uh, are putting more pressure. There is therefore more competition on price as well. Now, with uh, 1.4 billion in synergies or more expected from the deal, and your promise of expanding margins, does that pressure that Carl's asking about in terms of pricing mitigate your ability to expand margin? Well, we'll, we'll be one of the highest margin of the, among the big farmers, so I think that's also uh, create resilience in an environment which will be tougher for sure and that's why also we are developing a very lean organization so that we can we can we can sustain and and be ready when there will be more pressure in the future we've also seen all the pbms the pharmacy benefit managers get acquired by health insurers do you expect them to now with bigger scale put more pressure on you guys the drug makers yeah i think there will be more pressure uh, I think it's part of the, the dynamic here. And again, I think the, the solution for us is uh, to uh, develop highly innovative medicine, uh, you know, medicine that you cannot reject, for example. Uh, that's that's uh, very so critical. So more six-figure pricing for medications this year? No, not necessarily. Uh, I, I think that uh, depends on the medicine, depends on the therapy area. Uh, I was talking about innovation in pricing as well. Uh, I think we need to go towards more outcome-based pricing, value-based pricing. It, it creates a different type of, of debate and dialogue with payers. Um, uh, one would assume that you're done with large deals for a while. Is that a fair uh, conclusion? Well, we want to integrate uh, this uh, acquisition. We are moving very fast. To give you an example, 
two days after the closing, we had our first leadership conference with the top 200 leader of the company, two days after closing. So we are moving very fast with integration. Final question, Mr. Weber, and forgive me if, uh, but uh, uh, Carlos Ghosn's in jail in Japan. He uh, ran a Japanese company as CEO, but he was not a Japanese. Um, is that, how do you view that? I mean, does that raise the concern for you in some way? Obviously, he is charged with crimes. I understand that. But culturally, there are these gaps sometimes between um, Japanese culture and those who run companies who are not. You know, it's different companies, different uh, situation. Um, uh, at Takeda, we have a very, very strong governance uh, with a board of uh, 15 members. 11 of the 15 are external directors. So we have, I think we have a very best-in-class governance. It's very important, not only in Japan, but also, of course, when you are listed in, uh, in New York. So I, I think that there is no comparison between the you two. You don't find a cultural clash in any way in terms of running the company? No, I don't find that. I think uh, we need to respect the culture wherever we are. And I think uh, we are a Japanese company. I'm not Japanese, but the, the, the company is Japanese. I think it's, it's going fine.